Alright, Surface Studio Pro. Thing is. A big boy. Alright, so the, the problem with this computer is the BitLocker locked windows and then deleted a partition. So it's just a simple hardware check. I'm going to check the hardware. And going to reinstall Windows. Yeah, this thing is this thing is wild. I think my other I think the problem with this is I need I'm gonna have to go to Microsoft to actually get the the oh, that's working great. The actual reinstall media. Why isn't that working? That should be working. Cool. See, now it's going to say, press any key, but my keyboard isn't working. And the reason my keyboard is not working is because... Oh, is the battery in this dead? I guess the battery might be dead. Angeline, I need two AA batteries. 1.5 1.5 Nope, don't need new batteries. Something else is going on. Oh. It's plugged into a different computer. That'll do it. There we go. Use the device. USB storage. Got our buttons pressed. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you like these videos, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. It really, really helps the channel. Okay, this is kind of indicating we got something going on here. Let's actually do a full hard drive check. Seeing as this power button apparently is just for show, cannot be used to turn the computer off. Ooh, the internal drive has already had a smart failure. It's reading zero. Supposed to be a terabyte and it's reading zero. Oh, this thing is probably dead dead. So now we get to take one of these apart. This will be fun. All right, so let's figure out how to take one of these monstrosities apart. Because that doesn't come out. This is like a release for it. I feel like that should come out. I'm gonna put this down. All right, so I have a sneaking suspicion that underneath these four little dots, there's gonna be screws. Hey, look at that. Sometimes I'm smart, sometimes I'm not. This one does not have one. Well, let's see if it's just those two. That did not make sense though. Show sure enough, this hinge is a terrible, like, terrible design. How are you supposed to work on this? Two little torque screws on the bottom. There's got to be screws underneath these front things. Jeez, man. It's held on here with adhesive or something? I am not seeing screws at all. And this hinge, man. I see what's going on here. That's just terrible design, Microsoft. Now I have to sit here and hold this thing. Now we have to be careful because as soon as we open this, right here is the power supply. It's covered with a plate. Curious uh, how much of this actually has to come off for me to get this open, which it looks like everything. I guess let's just kind of line up these screws so I know where the hell they go. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. Let's 
CPU fan. All this to get to a hard drive. Like it shouldn't be this, shouldn't be this hard. Gotta be extremely careful because like I said, that's just the power supply. Like why is there like a speaker or something? It's gotta be what that is. All of this, just to get to this, I have to remove the CPU cooler to get the hard drive out. This, whatever this sand disc is, is not showing up at all. So I don't know if that has failed. Whatever it is, it's coming out of there. Right. I need to remove this post. Way to go, Microsoft. Just, just way to go. <laughs> And as per usual, I need to make sure I get that back in there right. Gotta remember I need to talk. Having one of those slow mornings, mentally. It's already 11 o'clock, awesome. Get this back in there. This thing is wild the way it has to be taken apart. This out of here. So that's the one that's dead. There's also a 64 gig NVMe on this, which I'm not sure what it's for because it wasn't showing up in any of the menus. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove it. I can't see an actual purpose for it if it's not assisting with the operating of the computer. So, I'm gonna go smaller. Like it's not, like it's just, a, it's a sand disk. NVMe for something. I'm wondering if they put this in here as like an Optane accelerator. But that's not 100% how that works. Pull this down. Plug that back in. Line that back up. Get these screws reinstalled. Do the nice thing, add some fresher thermal paste to this. Just to kind of fill in some of these gaps, we're not replacing it entirely. And give it a little, little dab will do ya. There you. Go. That should help reliquify this a little bit so that it can spread a little bit more evenly. Uh, using the Noctua NH 
What was it? The NH? Was it NL? NTH1. Yeah, he's the Noctua stuff. I, I like it. For just general, everyday use. For, like, higher-end applications where I'm chasing temperature benchmarks and stuff, I'll use the, like, Thermal Grizzly or something similar. Yeah, I'm wrong with Arctic Grizzly. I'm just, I, just one of those things where I'm set in my ways with it. I'm, like, genuinely curious what Microsoft thought their in-store repair technicians were going to do with this. Like, this is almost a two-person job to do. All right, let's tighten these things down. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing, but not really much I can do about that, thanks to Microsoft. And then we got this guy, which goes just like that. We got two long screws up front. Only one way these guys go on. And the adhesive for this is toast. So even if I were to put this back in there, oh, are, they, are they magnetic? They are magnetic, okay. Interesting. We'll see, I might have to put uh, Put some stuff in there. All right. It didn't immediately fall off, so that's a positive sign. Ugh, jeez. This thing. This is just stupid. I'm all for a good all-in-one, but this is ridiculous. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about my services, check out bradentonpcrepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.